One of the things I commonly see when starting to work with a new client is that they don't have a good procedure in place for managing their password. And there are many different types of password protection software or platforms out there. There really is no excuse if you are working in an online business for not having your passwords protected in this way. The little black book of passwords just doesn't do it anymore. It's, it's dangerous, it's actually reckless, and it's just not a smart business practice. If anything happens to that book, one, if someone steals it or you lose it, someone can get into your account or all of your accounts. Two, if you lose it in a fire or you know something like that, you may not even know how to get into your accounts or what all of your accounts are. So there is no reason to be using a black book at any longer. Password protection software is the best way to go, in my opinion, because not only is it living in the cloud where you can access it from anywhere, but the companies who provide the password protection are double encrypted. And you can actually set up even extra verification on your login and your password so that people really, really cannot get into your account. And so the, the password protection, it's so hard to say. I choose to use LastPass and it's just what I have always used. I like it because it's reasonably priced. I can easily manage my passwords, but I can also share them as needed with other people on my team. And I can even do that blindly if I don't want them to see what the password is, but I want them to be able to log in. I'll show you that in a minute. The other thing I really like about LastPass is if you're using Chrome, you can put this little icon right on your desktop. It will allow your passwords to pre-fill for you when you get to a site where you need to have a password. For example, if I were to log into, if I were to log into Upwork, you can see that all I have to do is go to the Upwork site and it will pre-fill my name and my password, but no one can see what the password actually is. If I have more than one login, because I have a client that might have a login, it'll show me over here and I will get a drop down menu of the different clients that I have listed and I can choose them and it will fill in their password for me as well. Okay, so I really like that option in Chrome, this little plugin. From this plugin, I can also log out. My computer is set to log out automatically if I'm not using it for more than a certain amount of time so that if someone were to walk up to my computer, they would not have access to all of my passwords. I can also log out manually here if I decided that, you know, if I was traveling or something like that and I didn't want my passwords that open or if I'm working in a coffee shop, I always log out of LastPass. I, you just can never be too careful. Also with the plugin, you can go directly into your LastPass vault and you can go to the different places on your LastPass account that you might need access to right from this plugin. If you go into the vault, don't worry, I'm not gonna let you see anything you shouldn't. <laughs> you will see here that I have all of the different sites listed. Now, if we go down here to the bottom, these are my personal sites. We'll look at just this one here. The top one is Stitcher. If I hover over that, you'll see that I can launch right from here and it would go ahead and log me in. Of course, that particular one seems to not be where, there we go. It would log me in. All I would have to do is go down here and copy the username and password. Some sites will fill it for you automatically, some won't. It depends on the encryption that that particular site has. But it's very, very quick and easy to do that. Now back in the vault, you can also see that over here, I can choose to edit my entry. I can choose to share the password with someone else or I can get rid of the entry, I can delete it. So this is Stitcher. I'm gonna go in and show you the edit screen. This is the URL. It, it puts this in the box so that when you go to that URL, it knows to pull this information that is down here. And in this particular case, I generated the password, but I would, can put Stitcher in here. It doesn't have to be, this is, this is not the URL, it's the proper name. And then it puts in my username and it saves my password. If I wanted to see my password, I just click on this little eyeball. 
If I want to generate a new password, you can do that right here, and you can organize your folders right over there. There's also some advanced settings down here. Um, if you want to always have to re-enter your password, you can do that. Um, you can do an auto login, or you can disable autofill. And then down here is the little person icon again that you can click on to share with somebody. You type their email address in here. They must also have LastPass, and then it will share the password with them. The really neat thing is when they get the password, if you do not check this box, if you do not want them to view the password, when they get it, it's going to look like this. It will just be dots. They can't see it, but LastPass knows what it is, so LastPass will pre-fill it for you when you get to that URL. So I hope that makes sense. That is why I prefer to use LastPass. I think that there are others, like I said, there's um, one password, there are, there's KeePass, there's a couple of different um, varieties out there, but this is the one that I use and I think it's a really smart and easy way to protect yourself.